Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. Great to have you alongside here at 510. Well, we'll bring in a pair of guest cats in Bob and Boomer for your dog walking forecast. Brian, appreciate the photo. Glad to have you guys aboard this morning on a day where we'll keep an eye out for scattered showers, locally heavy, gusty storms as we're keeping an eye out to Oak Island Light. Caswell Beach, there it is, waking at us from across the Intracoastal on your Bob King GMC First Alert Skycam Network. Dark and early, we can head upriver, where it's trying to be a little foggy. I'd call this low clouds and haze. It's mostly cloudy in 72 at ILM Airport, and akin to the view here from the Murkison Building, the visibility, not perfect, but it's not the worst. We'll be watching for some isolated fog amid Muggy temperatures within a few points of 70 to step outside. Your radar already active. The latest scan as such. Some showers and storms parading in. The latest little crop of isolated to scattered activity coming in from South Carolina along the Grand Strand into southwesternmost Brunswick County. Some raindrops getting briefly thick around Sunset Beach, for example. As yet, I'm not detecting any large hail, damaging winds, or rotation in these cells. But we're in a precarious place today with a storm system that affected us yesterday. Of course, widespread rain and isolated severe weather. We have more scattered activity, but there is energy. Level one, level two, severe thunderstorm risk outlook zone from our friends at the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center for today. Tomorrow, that's a cleaner map. And Friday, pretty clean as well. Let's take it hour by hour acknowledging that we have some isolated showers and storms now. Scattered showers and storms make sense for drive time. This is this afternoon, some toasty sunshine in between. So more spacing and then a lot more spacing on that future radar overnight tonight and into tomorrow. Just a stray shower or storm suggested with a little north to south momentum and then new momentum in from the west. That's another system that's going to put its stamp on our weekend forecast. Not a washout, but the percentages trend back up for Saturday. So let's stay alert there too. To some extent Sunday, but into early next week, trending drier amid seasonable temperatures where if you take a snapshot of where average is, it's lower 80s and lower 60s for highs and lows here in the heart of May. Let's get you to your saltwater boards today. About 80 in the air, upper 60s to near 70 in the surf with a high risk of rip currents carrying over from yesterday. Let's be alert for that. Upcoming high tides on your screen include one in the 2 o'clock hour of this afternoon for east and south facing beaches and offshore baseline winds and waves, at least for the first part of the day, supportive of a small craft advisory from our friends at the National Weather Service. So I want to mention that too. Kim, back to you.